And then finally, as we segue from the news to the uh, locale content, um, here is your little buffer, your buffer story. Uh, Patreon, and someone will have to remind me what the opinion was about banks deplatforming sexually violent and pedophilic content, because in my head, they should be very pro-pornography, but they're not, and I don't know why. I can't remember what the rationalization was for bankers defending porn as vehemently as they do. Um, here we have uh, people in the ABDL community um, complaining that they were banned from Patreon recently. Uh, Lexi says... Angry faces, and my Patreon has gone too. I'm unsure. Lexi is definitely not this person's real identity, by the way. I'm unsure whether I'm going to take this lying down. If you are an ABDL creator and had your Patreon shut down over an alleged terms of service violation, DM me. Uh, if you're a licensed attorney in California, DM me. Uh, just another user who has a woman with a binky and diaper as his display picture says, just to note, they're taking down all ABDL pages. If you're blissfully unaware, ABDL is adult baby diaper lover. Uh, Annabelle, who has a child uh, as his display picture, says in what appears to be Discord, um, it's getting bad. And then he lists 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 of ABDL diaper pornographers that were banned from patreon special shout out to the one named lilith fetish uh because that's very funny um and the one named kawaii just so everyone gets the point that uh anime is demonic uh pissy missy <laughs> jesus pissy missy at pull up poofs says so ABDL artists who just lost our source of rent right before the holidays lawsuit against Patreon question mark class action question mark group chat so we can coordinate how to do this question mark let's be serious about this for a moment Patreon just committed a crime uh, they told us that our accounts were removed on the basis of sexualizing minors what minors they're merely diapers which anyone can wear Old people need diapers, passies, and baby clothes. Those can be worn at a fucking rave. Many of you already got your accounts removed. Clearly, only ever drew adults. Many of you, many of you, uh, clearly only drew adults. It's lawsuit time, baby. I think that babies are the core of the issue here. So this is their response: sexualized minor age play. What a joke. Um. Robin from Patreon says, hello, please note that we have a zero tolerance policy for content that sexualizes minors, including any type of work featuring sexualized minor age play. Because of this, we will not be reinstating your account, but we have processed a payout for your remaining balance. Kindly Robin from Patreon's trust and safety. Uh, to which 34 Cooker uh, says, Hello, Robin. This is an extremely upsetting email to receive. I do not, nor have I ever, at any point, sexualized children or teenagers without with any of my posts. I'm not sure what info you're using, but ABDL is in no way related to minors at all. I would like to break down, or I would like a breakdown of what exact post led to the termination of my account and many others too, by the looks of it. This is extremely unprofessional, and honestly, I will probably never be using Patreon or recommending it to anyone again. Bottle Bear at Capcom says, Help! I am losing my mind. My Patreon, including all other ABDL-centered Patreons, were execute all the 6-6 last night, because we need a Star Wars reference here. I can't get into my account at all. It's deactivated. No warning at all. I... I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to pay my student loans this month. Please, Tilda. Uh, if you have any solution to this, any ideas of other sites I could start a Patreon-like service on, I'm so, so, so scared. If I can't make my student loan payment, I, I mean, 
I think that's just it. I think I have to shut down Bottle Bear and get a job at McDonald's or something. <laughs> this is brutal and without any warning at all. And I'm just curled up in bed, panicking. I can't believe they would do such a horrid thing like this. Just a few days before the end of the month, I didn't even get my payout. This is so horrible. So uh, I see on your resume you have no work experience, but you do list two years as a diaper fetish artist. Um, I think we're looking for a higher caliber person at uh, McDonald's. And this is the same email as before from Robin, the executor of ABDLs, the Grim Reaper of diaper lovers everywhere. Robin stands over the body of a thousand men in, in little baby clothes and diapers and binkies and shows no mercy, no pity. She cleaves them with her, her giant, what do they call it, a scythe? Giant scythe, harvesting them for the Trust and Safety Commission. Beware, Robin. Beware. Um, anyways, that's pretty base. Except for Roxanne Wolf putting a weird dancing furry thing at the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm... Is this like a furry, like... It looks like a, one of those things from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Is this like a, like, a, like a sexy Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic? That's what it looks like to me. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.